Good afternoon. This is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. B K M O E T Institute. So today again we are talking about degrees. I always talk about only three things: grammar. Most important thing you can understand whether the paragraph is past, present, or future. So I will read this paragraph as well today to tell you the importance of grammar. Uh, and then the second thing we talk about is adverb. So adverb also we talk about. And uh, okay. So and the most important thing is degrees. Degrees, grammar, and adverb. These are the three things you always need to know. Adverbs are majorly ly words like only, exclusively. So we talk about these things daily. Grammar we always talk about past means was or second form. Second form is also past. And present means as plus third form or first form. Both are present. So these are the things you have to remember. Now talking about degrees again. What are degrees? Degrees means okay. Degrees means there are three degrees: good, better, best. Best is the third degree, and best means if I am writing this degree, if I say I am the best, then there is nobody better than me. Best means hundred percent best, the best. This is known as superlative degree. third degree like example if i give you if i say uh much this is the most confusing degree that's why people have confusion much more most this is confusing degree because sometimes we don't understand that more is just like better they both are comparative degree but right now we are talking about this so best word in paragraph can be replaced by most if it is just like great greater greatest i will give you example as well don't worry just two seconds to explain you and second degree is this degree comparison degree i am better than you more means always comparison i have more money that means i am comparing it with someone i am greater than you means i am comparing my height with someone even if i say this word then or not even then i am making a comparison if i am using word er greater more better late later latest and there is one more degree that people do not understand bad worse worst this is also a degree people sometimes do not consider worse also means comparison if i say my eyes do not have proper vision and my right eye is worse that means it is a, automatically a comparison that my right eye is worse than left eye even if i write this word or not worse always mean comparison this sentence in itself is complete that is english if i say taj mahal is better that means i am making a comparison with other wonders of the world it's automatic but if i say tj taj mahal tm is the best then this means that taj mahal is the best that it is on the top spot it is number 1 that is the difference in the degrees now after knowing this knowledge let's go to this paragraph where everything started from now i will teach grammar and this both in oet exam obviously you have to be fast so i will read it fast you can listen to the recording again if you by chance do not understand the idea of sporting who witness witness means first form means present please understand this is present the idea of supporting relatives who witness is nothing new uh, and reports going back to 1980s now they are going in the past in 1996 c In 1996, the Research Council UK (RC UK) published a booklet called "Should Relatives Witness Resuscitation?" Since then, means since then, practice has moved on. Has plus third form. Now they have come in the present again. 1996 booklet booklet published. Second form that was the past line. Now they are again in the. But many of its core elements are still considered valid today. So whatever there was in the past, they are still valid. means resuscitation facts or protocols have not been changed they are still valid today it was suggested now they have again gone to past it was suggested that family members who witness the resuscitation 
may have a healthier bereavement as they will find it easier to come to the terms with reality of their relative death. So if they will see the resuscitation process, they will have healthier bereavement, means they can say goodbye to the family member in an easier way because they know the relate, uh, reality and also they may feel reassured that everything has been done. So they will feel like that I have done everything. It is acknowledged that reality of the CEPR may be distressing. Yes, reality can be distressing, but argued that it is more, now it is comparison, but but argued that it is more distressing for a relative to be separated for the family members at this critical time. So now there is a comparison in the last line that if you do not see the bereavement, if you do not see the final resuscitation, it can be more distressing. So now you understand the paragraph. Paragraph is about the past. They used to say that resuscitation is good to be seen. Present also facts are same. Then comparison has been made that it is more distressing if you do not see it. Now let's go to the paragraph. Let's go to the question. Again, slow and steady when you're doing in OET. Just again, we have to do only easy question first. So we have a lot of time. The writer quotes RCQ. Now the question itself is very important. The writer quotes RCUK. RCUK means resuscitation, that study of resuscitation done by UK team. In order to means why? Why is he talking about resuscitation of UK? That was RCUK means? Uh, resuscitation Council, Research Council UK. So why are they talking about res Research Council? Okay, let's see. In order to stress the significance of family involvement in the resuscitation attempts, this can be one of the answer because see, in order to means why are they discussing? Means this is a question like purpose wala question. That is where the question, that is why it is so important to read the questions well. In order to means why, why means purpose. So why they are talking about resuscitation because so that they can stress that family should be involved because that is what RC UK said that family should be present. Show the significant benefits of family presence. This can also be right. But again, they have talked about the benefits, but maybe they have not talked about the significant benefits. So this is adverb. This is what I call adverb. Significant means marked. Marked means lot of benefits. So anything like this is an adverb, which increases the intensity of a sentence. Shows the significant family benefits of family presence. But I think significant benefits is not given. Highlight that many now consider witness resuscitation outdated. Oh, outdated means that now, oh, your dress is very outdated. Outdated means now it is not worn. So outdated means it is a thing of past. But they said that past thing is even, it's still considered. So it is not outdated. It is not outdated. So you can eliminate this outdated word. In the B option, I am eliminating significant word. Demonstrate that being witness to a resuscitation attempt is traumatic. No, they said not, pres not being present in the resuscitation attempt is more traumatic. So the main purpose should be A or B. Now in the exam, obviously, I don't know whether to do A or B. But yes, if I understand, then maybe I can understand they are stressing the significance of family involvement, that family should be present. So according to me, answer should be uh, this one, A, but you can let me know the answer. I would like to know the answer, A or B. If B, yes, is, the, sir. If B is the answer, then I have to find the word significant benefits, but I don't think anything like significant benefit is given. So this is why I'm saying it is so important to have degrees. So the D option was eliminated, or B, C option was eliminated because of grammar that now uh, are the methods outdated? They were saying methods are still considered. So that was because of the grammar. Then in this, because of the adverb, significant benefits. Last question was that demonstrate that witness to resuscitation is traumatic. No, no, no. It is more traumatic. That was a degree based option. That is why I'm saying these three things are involved in every question of OET. And that is where you reach A. When you know how to eliminate adverb, when you know how to eliminate grammar, when you know how to eliminate degrees. Please listen to this recording 10 times. Trust me, each time you will hear this recording, you will learn. Now let's read the second paragraph. Only three options are given. Okay, let's see. I'm just doing one more question for your convenience. 
otherwise i know big recordings are not liked but yeah when we are learning you have to get little bored that's okay in the latest now this is the third degree and third degree is always with the word the i am the best this is rule of english he is the greatest so the third degree can never be without word the so in the latest edition that means it is the last edition latest means the latest its advanced life support manual rcq remains adamant adamant that it does not want to change that many relatives want the opportunity to be present during the attempted resuscitation of their loved one so they are saying rcq rcuk still believes that relative should be present and many relatives want it but do they have the right to demand it can relatives demand resuscitation team and the nurse caring for the patient have the responsibility of deciding whether to offer relative the opportunity to witness a resuscitation attempt so judith is saying it is up to us it is up to nursing team whether we allow or not so that means relatives cannot demand it but yes they should be present but they can't demand it sometimes resuscitation teams may decide not to offer relatives the option of witness but this should never be based on their own anxieties rather than on evidence based practice means sometimes the nursing team can say no but it is not because they are anxious suppose if i am teaching you oet i tell you guys that your family member cannot be present so it should be an evidence based see buddy if your family would be present you will not be able to concentrate it is it should be evidence if i am saying because i am anxious that maybe your family member will get to know that i am not good then it is wrong so it should be evidence based rather than based on my own anxiety so that is the point so was an easy paragraph again it does not take even 2 minutes if you read the paragraphs nicely okay in the second paragraph judith goldman says that witness resuscitation should not be the sole decision of resuscitation again sole decision word is not given so i will eliminate this option by chance a option has been mixed this should be b this should be c and the last one should be t as per me as per me because there should be four options na in this one there are three options so i think this was also an option but sole decision word is not given so i am eliminating needs to be made available to all families uh, judith man says that witness resuscitation should not be the sole decision witness resuscitation this is the second option witness resuscitation needs to be made available to all families i'm not quite sure about all families because they can so no must not be de denied because of this is sure they were saying that it cannot be hmm, that i think judith goldman says that wit witness resuscitation must not be denied because of personal feelings anxiety so i think answer should be b in an easy way and if the answer is given c obviously that means b okay can you help me with the answer guys yes sir answer given is c yes sir p sir yes. that is basically b guys and it was an easy question because again normally we say eliminate words like must because it is also a strict word but now by chance we are recording this video so i am going to tell you the best thing of the world most of the time we eliminate strict words like must everyone all that is why we eliminated this all word sole word sole sole word what does sole means only so only word is also ly word we are eliminating again we are following the same rules if you will understand all eliminate sole eliminate but again when these words come with note they become the best option why c goldman says that witness resuscitation must not be denied means must be if they would have said must be denied that means 100% it should be denied it's a rule must means it's a rule but must not be denied means it should never be denied now it becomes possibility it should never be denied on the basis of person yes it should never be denied. it should never be de denied on the basis of anxieties so that is how again by chance i am doing ninth question as well i can see otherwise you ask me for these two questions but i am doing ninth because you ask me for because the second paragraph in was remains adamant means again sir i don't know the meaning of adamant how how would i do it you know the meaning of remains na remains means same he is 
he his decision remains most of the time i will say na same so adamant also means same that they are sticking sticking to their words argues that relative should have the ultimate decision no rc uk was saying that relative should be present show that the opinion has not changed yes the opinion of rc uk has not changed that is why they are adamant this can be done easily as well so answer is b yes sir yes sir so this is how you do reading of oit this is dr bupesh from dr bkm oit institutes again telling you reading is not when you do difficult questions in the first round then you have to read it fast 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 and there is what is the cause of confusion always read the question nicely read the paragraph nicely if anything is difficult whether question or paragraph then do this later if question is easy paragraph is easy then go to the options and do that in the first round if options are also easy means if paragraph or question are difficult then so you will not do it in the first round obviously we will not leave the questions because there is no negative marking but i am talking about the first round so in the first round do only easy question and this only advice is enough to help you to pass oit this only video is enough to pass oit exam but the problem is that you don't listen to it five times again i am telling you 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 don't believe it because you want to listen to all the channels all the videos even one video whatever i teach regarding adverbs degrees grammar will be understandable will be comprehensive when you listen to it five times it requires patience that is why winners are winners just because of their patience thank you very much